Hello everyone, George Rambler Man here. Hope everybody's doing well. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon in late November here in North Georgia. I'm on Browns Bridge Road headed towards Gainesville, Georgia. As you can see, I'm going over Lake Lanier, which is a huge Corps of Engineer lake here north of Atlanta. And I'm going up to Gainesville Power Sports. The Kawasaki demo truck is there today, and I thought, you know what? I haven't ridden over this way in a long time, and you know, the chance to demo some motorcycles I've never ridden before, I said, this sounds like a plan. But we'll see what they have. You know, one one style of bike that Kawasaki has that I like, and I've never ridden, maybe I'll get a chance today, are these Vulcan um, cafe style, you know, standard bikes, or maybe you call them cruisers, I don't know. They're usually 600 cc, maybe up to 900, I'm not really sure, but I think they're referred to as the Vulcan S, and they have a cafe version of that. You know, if I, I don't know if you've ever thought about having a second bike. <laughs> you know, I have once in a while. And, you know, what, what kind of bike would you buy if you could just buy a second bike? Not trade the one in you have now, not get rid of the one you have now, but just have a second bike. You know, I wouldn't mind having one, a little smaller, uh, you know, bike like the Vulcan, you know, to zip around on. You know, not for any major touring, but, uh, you know, just a little nimble, uh, light bike you could ride around. So, we'll, we'll see. Kawasaki Good Times Demo Tour. That would be me. Alright, we have arrived at Gainesville Motorsports. So, let's, uh, Check out what I can ride. Okay, I'm here at the uh, demo event, getting ready to go. This is the Vulcan S that I'm going to be riding. It's black with a little bit of gold trim on it. It's a 649cc parallel twin, fuel injected. Concealed chain. I don't know what that means, but I see the chain, so I don't know about that. We'll walk around here. It's got some electronics to it. LCD screen plus the speedo. All right, riders. Nice motorcycle. Rider briefing. If you are signed up for that 130 ride, be sure to grab your gear and meet us on over here. Okay, it's time for the briefing. Okay, let's get on this Vulcan S. All right, we got about a 20 minute ride. Don't know where it's gonna go. Nice instrumentation here. Nice big gear indicator on the lower left. Okay, great. All right, riders, double check all your safety gear. Helmets must be buckled, jackets zipped, and gloves worn. When everybody is comfortable, give me that thumbs up. All right. This All is right. going to be fun. Got a ABS brakes. All right, right. LED lights. Call you, please. Ninja 1000. Z900 RS. Z900. Versys 1000. W800. Vulcan S 650. Ninja 400. One thing this has is foot pegs, not the floorboards, which I'm not used to, but these smaller bikes, that's just the way it is. Seat seems to be pretty comfortable. No windshield, mirrors are good. Let's check out this little bike. Well, it seems to have some pretty good power. 
nice big LCD display with the speed and the gear indicator, a clock, the odometer, very, very nice. Okay, we are off. Actually feels good today to have that wind. So I get up to fifth gear at 52 miles an hour. Wow, six speed, <laughs> more than I've got. You know, it is a smaller bike and uh, <laughs> with the ergonomics are pretty good. And you know, handlebars feel pretty good. Very easy to maneuver. And I do like the instrumentation. About 4,000 RPM at six gear, 54 miles an hour. But it really, it's got plenty of power. You roll on the throttle here at 60 miles an hour and just zip along. Gear shifts are very easy. Again, I got these foot pegs, which I'm not used to, which makes it a little odd. I'd have to get used to that. But these controls, these foot controls are forward. They're not to the rear like a lot of sport bikes are. So it's pretty comfortable for me coming from a cruiser with the, uh, you know, with the ergonomics and the kind of the rider triangle, I guess. This little, this little bike just zips alone. Come up on a red light here, got good braking. ABS brakes. Just a very light bike. I'm not sure what the weight is. I mean, you can look it up in the specs. It's a Kawasaki Vulcan S. 649 cc's. Parallel twin. And it will rip. <laughs> I'm at 50 miles an hour. Pretty doggone quick there fourth gear. You know what, so far I like this little bike. I think they're about, sticker price is around seven, seven, eight thousand dollars. I'm not really sure. I'll have to check that out when I get back to the dealer. Brand new. And you don't really think this is a highway bike, but um, Certainly got the power to be on the highway. Make a turn here on Flat Creek Road. Turns very nicely. Does not have the canceling turn signals though. I was kind of surprised about that, being this is such a brand new bike. It does have LED lights all around, which is nice. Nice big mirrors, and I tell you, this seat is pretty comfortable. Let's get on it here and see what you can do. Oh yeah, this thing has Plenty of torque, plenty of power, and it's got a lot more in the higher rev ranges too. This is not a bad demo ride. It's not exactly out in the country, but at least we're not on too many city streets. Nice curve here. I'm in sixth gear at 53, which is probably too high gear, but it's got <laughs> plenty of roll on power in sixth gear. Again, I like the uh, display, the 
gear indicator is very big and easy to read. It's got a digital speedometer, which I really like. I have one of those in my car, and I've really gotten used to that. Got a nice tachometer. I do like the fact these bikes come with ABS. Just cruising through Gainesville, Georgia on a warm November Saturday at the Kawasaki Good Times Demo Event at Gainesville Motorsports, 2750 Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Check them out. Seem to be like they're nice folks. definitely not used to riding a motorcycle the revs this high I'm almost at 5500 rpm right now in fifth gear and it just feels really comfortable I don't have a tack on my Suzuki but I don't think I'm above 5000 rpm very often you know as well as being this being a really good kind of second bike to own this would be a great starter bike I mean, 650 cc's, I don't think it's too big, and it's light, very light, easy to handle. You know, if you're just starting off riding, this is an excellent choice if you don't like the sport bikes. They got plenty of ninjas here today. Maybe I should get on a Ninja 1000 and pop a few wheelies. If I can give you a look at this display. Oh, they're even taking us on some twisties here. Excellent. Okay, folks, we are back at Gainesville Motorsports, the end of this little demo ride. And this was a lot of fun. I like this little Kawasaki Vulcan S motorcycle. It is a blast to ride.